In 1920s, Mahatma Gandhi declared the non-cooperation movement. The famous Malabar rebellion against the British and the cruel landlords in Kerala took place in 1921. This was the year Mary was born in central Kerala as the second child of Elishuba and Patros Matthew. Kutatukulam Mary was a fierce freedom fighter and a selfless leader of the Communist Party. Her struggle for freedom and justice started at a very young age. Later on, she became a teacher and touched many lives. Long after her retirement, she took up painting. In a year, she completed more than a hundred paintings and even held an exhibition of her paintings. Amaji, as the grandkids used to call her, hated the British because of her maths classes. In class 4, she had an exercise wherein they had to convert the British rupee into the local rupee and back. This hardship was caused by none other than the British. Amache was 12 years old when her family began to seek marriage alliances for her. One day, she was sitting on the kitchen floor cutting jackfruit seeds when her brother came and lifted her in that same position for a Pondabakal ceremony in the front row. Amaji was furious and promptly launched a fast. Her family had to cancel the marriage. When Mary was in class 9, Gandhiji said Indian students should boycott classes to oppose the foreign rule. Mary led her friends in a march, shouting slogans. In class 10, Mary was suspended from school for refusing to contribute money for the birthday celebrations of the Travancore Divan, who hated the freedom fight. Mary was alone in her fight as all others were afraid their grades would be affected. Even after she got a job in Tirunelveli, she was active in freedom struggle. Amachi underwent teacher's training in Tirunelveli before joining as a welfare organizer in Parang Kote in Tirunelveli. She was very active in the freedom fight there too. Vendekar Vilipo was one slogan she remembers from those days. Mary joined the Communist Party because Communists worked for the poor. The rich and the upper caste were against the party, so the authorities banned the Communist Party. The police started to capture its leaders to suppress the movement. Mary was caught and imprisoned at Kutadukulam town. The police beat her up brutally to get information about other leaders and secret documents, but Mary did not relent. They tortured her even more until her flesh and blood scattered on the floor. Still, she did not shed even one drop of tear. At last, the police conceded defeat and she was shifted to the hospital. My grandfather, C.S. George, was the leader of the Communist Party too. He made huge sacrifices for the cause, just like my grandmother. They had four daughters, Girija, Aisha, Sulekha and Shaila, my mother. Amaji took up teaching to support her family. After retirement, at the age of 87, she started to paint. She was in love with Van Gogh's paintings and made many copies of his works. Her exhibition was a huge success. Kuta Togula Mary passed away on June 22, 2014. She has become an indelible part of history because of her stellar political activism. Her zest for life and adventurous spirit will continue to inspire many more generations. <laughs>